people caring for people. Compassion. That's the foundation Gotham was built on. And I have proudly built Golf Corp on that same foundation. That's why we're called the People Company. Thank you so much. Please. Mr. Boyle seems to be after your title as Gotham's biggest philanthropic industrialist. Gotham needs more people like him. Bruce! Hey. <laughs> I am blown away by your support. It's well deserved. You're going to change the world, Ferris. Hey, we'll change it together, right? Pardon me, Mr. Boyle. The press is waiting well, this way, please. I'd say the future is looking hmm. very, very bright for Gotham. Now, it's almost midnight, and you all know what that means. Let's get this New Year's Eve party going with the... Whew. Forget to pay your heating bill, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> afraid of an old man. Uh, Just take it easy. Uh, <laughs> hope that face wasn't worth something. Oh, look at the rich boy. So long, Bruce. Are you okay? I've been through worse. These are Penguin's men. What do they want with Ferris? I'm not sure. They're being led by someone in a mechanized suit. I need to find Ferris before they do. Well, you're no use to us dressed like that. You need to put on your other suit. The closest entrance to the Batcave is in the study. Someone said an iceberg just appeared, uh, exploded in the ballroom. I need details. What happened? Who do you think... Where's Ferris? He never made it to the interview. Wait, you're not going out there alone, are you? Stay with Alfred. He'll keep you safe. With these guests about, perhaps you should look for that uh, <clears throat> item in the wine cellar. Right. Those men are armed. I'm going to have to take them down quietly if I don't want to get shot. Oh man, look at all this stuff! Can't do this on my own! Stepping on a few heads, you know what I mean? Ain't nothing back there except more wine. Bordiucks. Is that expensive? It's not Bordiucks. It's Bordukes. Oh, sorry. Bordukes. Yeah. Is that expensive or what? We're inside Wayne Manor, Doofus. It's all expensive. So why's Penguin got us working with this Mr. Freeze? Why do you think? Did you see that ice ring? You mean Freeze forced him? Hell no. We help Freeze get Boil and he gets us more of those. I'll feed the money out. Sir, if you'd come out of that cave more than once a week, you'd know that the Batcave entrance is in the wine cellar's tasting room. Look for the statue.
Watch yourself in that tunnel, sir. It's still suffering from the damage our visitor did on Christmas Eve. Master Bruce, I caught a glimpse of your mechanized man. These hooligans are calling him Mr. Freeze. You might consider donning your extreme environment suit. The XE suit? It's not ready for deployment. Oh dear, I hear helicopters. More penguin brutes. Do hurry. I don't have time to prep the XE suit for deployment. I'll need Alfred to put the finishing touches on it. I need to get back to the manor and find Ferris before Penguin's men do. Christmas Eve was degraded into dust. Wings, but hey, it's the butler. Alfred. Alfred. No signal from Alfred. I'd better find another way into the library. statue then, and I'm sure your employer will enjoy the hundreds of dollars it will garner on the black market. You've burnt several Damn hundred it, thousand Alfred. dollars worth of books from 11th century China. I have to get these people to safety, but the Wayne Crest is blocking the exit. This way. That was amazing. You just picked those goons apart. Ferris Boyle in the next room. I I think they're going to kill him. Sir, are you all right? Thanks to you, the hero of Christmas Eve come to rescue us from the... Can I trust you'll get these people to safety? Um, of course. Now that you've dealt with most of these hooligans... You should restore power to your sprinkler system to deal with these fires. Not to worry. I won't allow Wayne Manor to burn to the ground. Thank you for the rescue, uh, Batman. 
but I believe the young miss said that Mr. Boyle needs your help. Got Boyle, come in. Don't do this. <laughs> Keep strong, Boyle. Yeah, you want to get shot? Mr. Freeze is on the way. Who, who did you... We need to get you out of here. I... I heard about you. I have no quarrel with you. Then you crashed the wrong party. Freeze? What do you want with me? I just require a moment of your time. Let me go! Help! It looks like Freeze isn't the only one with a cryogenic weapon. This door is frozen shut. I'll need to enter the ballroom through the balcony. Is he taking Ferris? I, I don't know. I promise. Do you have any idea how many of your friends I sent to the hospital on Christmas Eve? Look, one of Penguin's dealers. He's doling out the weapons Freeze gave us. He must know. We were supposed to meet up in South Gotham. You can meet up in the emergency room instead. Someone like Ferris Boyle. It's sickening. I know you'll bring him to justice, sir. I'll see this one wheeled into Blackgate on a gurney. A2, dispatch. Confirming that code 3. Looks like these anarchy fanatics are taking advantage of the lack of police presence down here. Roger, A2. Continue to monitor. Do not engage without backup. <laughs> no chance of that. I should deal with those anarchy followers, but first I need to track down Penguin's dealer and find out where Freeze has taken Ferris. Ryo gun. Freeze ring. Finding Penguin's dealer is the key to finding Freeze. I should scan this area for clues that might tell me where he went. Whatever this substance is, it's slowly shutting his systems down, putting him into cryostasis. I won't be able to safely remove him from the ice without the thermal gloves built into the XE suit. The officer just chanced upon Penguin's men. He wasn't equipped to deal with this cryotech, but the cryo gun was leaking. If I hurry, this trail will lead me right to Penguin's men. Then I can make them tell me where this tech came from. Alfred, Penguin's men are using cryogenic weapons to encase innocent people in ice. I'm going to need the thermal gloves and the XC suit to break them free. I'll get to work immediately, sir. Any idea where these weapons are coming from? I'll get that answer when I catch up with Penguin's dealer.
Where's Freeze? You think I know? You plan on celebrating the new year in traction? Okay, okay. He, he made a deal with Penguin. Weapons in exchange for some stiff. Uh, uh, Ferris Boyle. He's in Goth Corp last I saw. You're lying. Goth Corp doesn't make weapons. What? No, I... Uh... Goth Corp, I swear! Look, I've got the entry codes! I'll take those. It doesn't make sense. Goth Corp involved in weapons tech. There's got to be more to this. Sure thing, boss. What are you going to do with me? You? <laughs> Assuming your friend keeps cooperating, I'm sure we won't have to do anything. You know, crack. Those men were armed. How'd you do that? Where are they taking Ferris? Mr. Boyle? They, uh... They're heading to the propellant research wing. These guys have been raiding the whole facility. Do you have the codes to this security door? No, I don't have clearance. But my boss does. A bunch of them took him to the organics lab. Through the lobby. I'll make sure they don't hurt your boss. Get yourself to safety. Thermal gloves built into the XE suit. on GNN. You just saved my life. You have codes I need to access the propellant research wing. I do. Here. Take them. You're going to save Mr. Boyle, right? It's not safe inside Gothcorp. You need to get out of here. Don't worry. I won't be hanging around. And, uh, thanks, you know? Not just for me. For Gotham. We wait for 50.
I mean, penguins is rough. <laughs> you think penguins gonna let this blue skin freak get the drop on him? You're crazy. Listen, I don't want to be the guy to show up when penguin call. Let's just figure out a way to get in there. Boil, or I'll freeze this entire room. Oh, I know you won't. Boyle's got the code you need, and I ain't giving him up. Let's all get what he's giving you. What's behind this door is of no interest to you. What I think you need is the weapon I would promise. I know you're holding out on me. This will not end well for you, Cobblepot. Ho oh, ho! I think you're confused about what exactly. It's about to happen here. As soon as you... he need Boyle? Boyle's got codes he needs to access some kind of super weapon. And now you let him have it! That ice is the only thing saving you from getting the beating you deserve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, you ought to save our friend Mr. Boyle, yeah? But you'll never break through this ice. Gothor has a device. It's uh, uh, like a drill. A cryo drill. Tell me where it is. I had my men bring all our uh, acquisitions to the My Alibi nightclub. For safekeeping, of course. Then you better hope your men are still at my alibi. If I want to break through this barrier of ice, I'd better get to the My Alibi nightclub before Penguin's men decide to relocate. You want to save Danger. Critical failure in stage two. Fueling process. Emergency protocols in... Without the XC suit, I'd never survive in that cloud of cryo vapor.
Danger. Cryogenic reactor has failed. Containment breach in progress. Gotta fix it. Why? I'm no cryo engineer, I'm just a guard. Break the vent. You better figure it out. Your friends. They busted the security. <laughs> Where'd you come from? That was incredible! Come with me. I'm getting you out of here. Thanks for getting me out of there. What are you gonna do now? After I've recovered the cryo drill, I'm coming back here to save Ferris. But isn't Freeze gonna try to stop you? With any luck. Alfred, what's the status of the XC suit? I've just finished loading it into a drop container. Good news. I'm on my way to my alibi to recover a stolen cryogenic drill. Have the Batwing drop it there. It's on its way. Sir, I'm detecting a group of armed men outside my alibi. I suggest you secure the area before I initiate the drop. No? XC suit drop incoming, sir. If you hope to deal... The thermal gloves should help you deal with most ice you encounter, sir. And the suit will provide... Sir, I suggest you deal with the last of these activists as soon as you're able. The honeycomb structure insulates against extreme cold without increasing weight. It won't slow me down a bit. I can use a thermocharged batarang to bring that ice down on top of those thugs. Listen, we ain't going nowhere until you tell me exactly where to... Why are you picking on me? <laughs> Cryogenic drill from Goth Corp. Well, yeah, but it ain't here. Penguin said to sell off the parts. It's in pieces. Where are they? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Just don't drop me off a roof, okay? Maybe next time. Sir, your map has been updated with the locations of the components you'll need to rebuild the cryogenic drill. Thanks, Alfred. I'm on it. I've assembled the cryo drill, but it requires some kind of superconducting fluid to operate. Ah, here it is, sir. An organic supercoolant used in an experimental lab run by one Victor Freeze. As in Mr. Freeze. It seems too great a coincidence to ignore. 
It says here that Ferris had Mr. Freeze's lab shut down. If he's a disgruntled employee out for revenge, then this is about more than just stealing weapons tech. Uh, Freeze's lab is under quarantine. Some kind of accident. I'm on my way back to Gothcorp now. Fitzy's here to save you, sorry asses. need to evacuate this lab of cryovapor before the lockdown protocol on this door is disengaged. He can't get us. No. Emergency. Please engage, man. I need to disable those two. I hope the cryovapor killed that man. I thought someone was going that son of a bitch. Got the first switch. What's he doing? I can't. We got a plan beyond the usual. Shooting the hell. Lab's still full of cryo paper and the fans ain't working. I think we're safe. If you manage to get the fans back, that'll be. Emergency. Please engage manual reactor shutdown. Now's our chance. Get in there and blow the hell! Guys, a better bet for us. You keep talking like that. I'm like. I'll need to evacuate this lab of cryovapor before the lockdown protocol on this door is disengaged. There's more going on here than a simple accident. This security guard's skin has the same blue coloration as Freeze's. I should set up a crime scene. Data analysis indicates that he died from heat stroke, but the control room doesn't show signs of overheating. This is some kind of crystallized chemical residue. Traces lead back into the lab. The trail ends here. I should scan for more evidence. Two men struggled. One of them ran out of the lab. That would be the dead security guard I found.
These palm prints are a match for Victor Freeze. He must have watched the security guard die. Freeze scavenged what he needed from various prototypes to build himself a super-cooled survival suit. Extreme pressure built up inside the tank when ice sealed these outtakes. It appears that this guard was frozen by the cryovapors from the resulting explosion. The evidence suggests the guard was frozen before the tank ruptured, perhaps by Freeze's cryo cannon. These DNA traces are a match for Victor Freeze. Spatter analysis suggests a blunt impact. Someone assaulted Freeze with a weapon. The cannon was knocked over and fired. When the tank exploded, it released a plume of cryochemicals. The plume enveloped Freeze and the guard. But the shockwave knocked the assailant clear. I need to find that weapon. It may have evidence I can use to identify the assailant. DNA analysis confirms the gun was used to bludgeon Victor Freeze, and fingerprint analysis shows Ferris Boyle. It was Ferris. Something was wheeled through this fluid, possibly a gurney. The fluid must have frozen almost immediately for these tracks to have been preserved. Odd. Freeze was secretly doing research on Huntington's Korea. But this is a cryogenic weapons lab. The test subject was Nora Freeze. Now I know what happened here. Boyle hired Victor to help advance the secret cryoweapons program within Gothcorp. In exchange, Boyle agreed to devote Gothcorp resources to finding a cure for Nora's Huntington's. But Boyle was more interested in how Victor had managed to put Nora into cryostasis. When Victor realized that Boyle had no intention of following through on their deal, he decided to do the Huntington's research himself. But Boyle didn't like that. The cryochemical cocktail altered Victor's metabolism, as well as the guards. Boyle escaped ahead of the plume and had the lab quarantined. Victor survived, but he knew that leaving the supercooled lab would kill him. So he built himself a suit and utilized an organic supercoolant to keep his core temperature sub-zero. All this violence. He's just trying to save his dying wife. The supercoolant Victor uses in his suit is the same fluid I need for the cryo drill. Send Gordon the evidence I've gathered on Boyle's crimes. I'm sorry, Master Bruce. I know you had high hopes for what Ferris could do for Gotham. That doesn't matter now. Victor's plan was never to kill Boyle. He needs Boyle's security access to get his wife out of Gothcorp. That's all he wants. And now, you're going to stop him? I have to. And are you still going to need that gurney? I am. But not for Victor. You know what I'm gonna do when I get out of here? I'm gonna have candy for me a nice hot bath. And then I'm gonna drown you in it! Uh, I'm trying, boss. 
This ice is tough. You, you're gonna get me on this damn iceberg. You're good right where you are. But, but you can't leave me here. I'll freeze to death. Not my problem. Oh, so you come back to gloat, have you? Oh, I'll hang you with that bloody cape. You hear me? See how well you do when the air freezes in your lungs. He's hit it, you are. But to stop me, 
Then come out of the shadows. Holy anger me! Take him! My suit is with Only anger me! Only anger me! Take him! Where are you? You want to stop me? Then come out of the shadows! Where are you? Cryogenic containment failing. Prime subject, Nora Freeze, in danger. Nora! If I can get underneath him, I can take him from below. Contain Nora Freeze in danger. I should have just killed him. Him and the back. Thanks for doing the heavy lifting. But you shouldn't have stuck your nose in my business. And here I thought I was going to have a problem explaining what happened in your lab. I mean, the police are never going to look at me after what you did. And with this bat freak dead, there won't be anyone left to say otherwise. And that just leaves you. Please, you can save me. You just have to walk past the fire of Victor! She died! But I'll keep you alive long enough to see her go! Breaking news out of North Gotham at this hour where protest has turned to celebration. Under extreme pressure from Gotham's citizens, Mayor Hill has just announced his resignation. While Hill has not ruled out a possible run for re-election in the new year, his resignation means that Peter Grogan will likely not be the next police commissioner of Gotham. Speculation has already begun about who the new mayor will appoint as commissioner, with many pundits naming GCPD Captain James Gordon as the frontrunner. And now to South Gotham, where Vicki Vale brings us this live report. Thanks, Janine. I'm standing at the corporate headquarters of Goth Corp, where Captain Gordon has confirmed that Goth Corp CEO Ferris Boyle has been taken into police custody. Police report that Mr. Boyle stands accused of manslaughter, extortion, and attempted murder. Shocking accusations given that just earlier tonight, he accepted the Wayne Foundation's award for Humanitarian of the Year. Also in custody is the notoriously elusive underworld crime boss Oswald Cobblepot, better known as the Penguin. 
as well as a Gothcorp cryogenicist, Victor Freeze. Mr. Freeze is being held under heavy guard at Gotham General, receiving treatment for an undisclosed medical condition. Quincy Sharp has suggested that Mr. Freeze is yet another example of the type of criminal that needs the specialized care that only Arkham Asylum can provide. Police credit these arrests to solid police work, but this reporter suspects the vigilante known as the Batman had more than a small role to play. On a personal note, I owe Batman a debt of gratitude for rescuing me from almost certain death earlier this evening. So, thank you, Batman. For all of us. Back to you, Janine. Thanks, Vicky. The Batman continues to be one of the top stories this holiday season. So as we here at GNN wish you all a happy and safe New Year's Eve, we'll leave you with just a few of the comments you've made about Gotham's caped crusader. I was surrounded. Next thing you know, bam, boom, kapow! The bastards are all on the ground, KO'd. I didn't even see him coming. Oh, it was all a blur. He just whooshed in out of nowhere. Listen, I'm a cop. I can't condone what he does. I can be grateful he's doing it. Oh, he's real all right. I got the bruises to prove it. He's real, he's ruthless, and there ain't nothing in the world that's gonna stop him. <laughs>